everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're still gonna continue on the Mills journey. So I love Mills plates in the city. If you can't tell from uh, quite a few of the videos we've already done on this channel, including the previous video of why do Mills. So today I wanted to expand on that with actually showing you how to transfer a modular from the standard 32 by 32 base plate to a 32 by 32 mills plate. Unfortunately, you can't just pick it up and put it down on a mills plate. It just isn't going to work. So you actually have to go through a little bit of a process to transfer it over. So if you're just starting out with a city or you have thoughts on a city, definitely now is the time to consider uh, going mills or a modular integrated landscaping system. It's really, really, it, oh, I hate this. Liam, nothing. <laughs> nothing, I'm just frustrated with my video. All right. Hey everyone, Sarah here, and today I want to continue on the Mills journey with you. So if you are into everything Mills or you think you want to be into everything Mills and turn your Lego city into a Lego Mills city, then this is the spot for you. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button and hit subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot with Mills this year. We've already started our city, gone back, decided that it needed to be on Mills, transferred over modulars, built modular mills roads. Uh, we're, we're building modular rivers, um, mills rivers. So mills stands for modular integrated landscaping system. And you wanna check out my last video on why go mills, the disadvantages and the advantages, and is it worth it? Because I think you're really gonna get a lot out of that if you're still trying to understand why you would want to have mills in the first place. So today, I'm not gonna show you how to make a mills plate because I have videos on that. So make sure to check the end of this video or the description down below for videos on how to make mills plates, mills roads, how to turn road plates into mills plates, uh, all that kind of stuff. So what I wanna show you today though is what other people have asked me to kind of go over because it may sound pretty obvious but when you get right down to it it's a little bit of an intimidating process because there is some time involved and that is transferring your standard 32 by 32 base plate modular here over to a mills plate so it is not complicated but it can be a little overwhelming feeling one thing that you're going to want to have available is the at least the first booklet of your instruction guide, or if you can print them off from lego.com or whatever, you just need to know where some of the pieces might need to be put back in case you uh, get out of sync, you lose your place, or some pieces don't come off like you hoped they would. So I always have this handy because I've noticed that the uh, first floor of the green grocer here, which is my latest haul, this was actually a used set that I just received, is actually pretty detailed, which means I'm going to have to pay attention to where things are going. So in that case, I have that ready just, just in case I can't go row for row, because that is my biggest tip really, is to go row by row until you can't and you need to get some help. Though what you want to do to get started, of course, is have your mills plate made, but then you wanna remove any layers that really aren't going to be uh, useful to this project. So I'm going to just remove and put aside the roof, the third floor, and the second floor. Okay, we don't need any of those and less chance of anything breaking. And then we are simply going to start at the front of the sidewalk and we're going to just shift everything over row by row until it gets um, a little challenging for us. And then what we can also do is kind of, you can, I won't start it now because I want to go row by row first, but you can wiggle off a lot of the outer core of the building and transfer it over. We found that to be the case with most of the modules. 
And that really helps because that eliminates a lot of time. So you're not unbuilding brick by brick here. You are able to shift it over. But again, you're going to want to consult this just in case you get a little mixed up on the interior details. So with that being said, what I actually want to do is shift the camera around and uh, have you kind of follow along with me as I move things over. Now, I'm not going to show you like start to finish because you're going to die sitting here watching me for at least 30 minutes, possibly longer. My husband is way quicker than I am because I, I don't quite remember sometimes where I remove things from. So I'm going to just give you some tips as I go along, kind of show you some of the areas that I focus on, and then we'll see a completed green grocer on top of its mills plate. So let's get started. All right, let's see how this works. I actually shifted everything around so that you could look at it from my perspective instead of looking at it from like the back. So let's see how we do here. So basically what I want to start by doing is, oh, I guess a brick separator would be a good thing to have too. So basically I just start with the first piece, right? And then I'm going to stick it back where it goes. And that is essentially the start right there that one by one gray tile like blue gray tile and then i'm just going to take off the next one and put it right next to it it's really really a very simple process and you know just to, it's nice that the sidewalk really just is easy and it really can get you started and feeling confident and then you can also see your mills plate sort of come to life and you can definitely see how uh, the base plates that these are built on do kind of warp over time. They do pull up on the edges here. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't love it. So now again, I've got the light post here and that's just gonna go back over right there. And then what I need to do is get a brick separator so that I can pick up some more of these things a little bit more easily than I am gonna do it right now. But you get the idea. I'm going to work through and I'm going to do all of this, uh, let's see, all of the tiling here, the simple sidewalk stuff, and then we'll meet back up when we get to the hard part. Okay, so let's do a quick check in. Basically, I re removed everything from here that I could pry up without having to disturb this structure. So I couldn't get all the way in a couple of those there just seem to be sort of wedged in there so i'll have to get those few out after but as you can see here i've got most of the sidewalk and the start in place it also gave me a nice opportunity to wipe down some pieces that were a bit dusty so it did actually the tricky part comes here at the steps so i did take apart the steps and then realized that I needed to get open the instruction manual to see how to put the steps back because uh, already I forgot what I took off. So <laughs> it is very important to have this instruction manual handy. And so what I'm gonna do is I will put these back on and really these pieces here are kind of wedged underneath. They're a little dusty too. Actually, you can, can I get them out? So you know, they're sort of wedged, they're kind of up you can't get them out so what i would do at this point is actually and this is what the base plates are uh, pretty good for is um kind of peeling away the structure from the bottom see this is not super sturdy here people uh, especially for such um a hefty modular so you can actually peel this bottom pretty much away especially being a 16 by 32 and oh, I guess we can remove the barrels from out back. But as you can see, you, you're left with the structure. So that makes it so much easier to move and shift around. And then I can actually, if I don't want to get too carried away right now, I can grab these and get them into place where I want them so that I don't get... Um, I don't get out of order with things too much because that's what I'm always worried about is not being able to get things back where they need to be correctly. So what I will do is I will work on prying off this next and then I will show you what happens from there. 
Okay, so very easily this bottom portion came off in one nice chunk. If you do have bricks that fall out from say the bottom, go ahead and push them back up in there just to keep them with it all together kind of thing. So you don't need to know where it goes later. We do have a couple, oh, I see. I see that this, uh, this green one here is actually going to go up in there. So I might as well replace that right now. And I know there's another green one missing in here. I'm gonna tip it over too much. Uh, so we'll have to see. We'll see where that uh, one green one goes. Oh, I bet it's right, right in there. Okay. So I have one more green one that's kind of hanging around here. And I think, it, no, maybe it doesn't go in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I think it goes right in here. That makes perfect sense. And there we go. So that is very easy peasy. And now all I need to do is transfer this over. And this actually looks like if I just go by what I have here, right, which is pretty laid out in terms of this. See, I can follow this pattern up and follow that pattern up from here. And we should be good to go. This is not a highly detailed modular. Uh, some of them, like the diner, were actually a little bit more lengthy. And of course, assembly square is bigger. So for now, let me just get this done and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so we did it. See, now I'm left with two 16 by 32 base plates, a little dusty, but these will actually come in great for making uh, small mills like this for some of the mock ideas that I have. So we will put those aside, get them cleaned up, and then here is what we've got right now. So basically we have the interior floor plan laid out, and uh, hopefully with any luck, we should be able to wiggle on the first floor. And this was nice because then I could wipe down these interior tiles too as I went along. So that is a good benefit to um, moving over any use sets to Mills plates as you get the chance to examine them, check them out, see if you're missing anything, and then move them over. So now, hopefully with any luck, oh, and I did have to go back and consult this a couple of times. So when you're moving tiles over, um, don't get complacent and just start popping things off. It can go a little fast and all of a sudden you're like, was that supposed to be one over there or one up? Should there have been a gap here? Cause they, you can see there are spots left where I do need to fit in the bricks from the first floor. And if you're not really paying attention, you'll start covering them up. So you might want to do a, a quick comparison before you get too far, just to make sure you're on the right track. And hopefully this means that I am on the right track here. So let's see how we do the moment of truth. And we're just gonna kinda, and I actually found I needed another. Oh, look at that friends, look at that. It couldn't have worked out any more perfectly. <laughs> that was like made for camera experience right there. Um, I do need one, one by two gray tile. I remember seeing that in the materials that he sent to me, it had come undone. There we go. I need to pop in another tile right there. And we're just gonna go around and kind of push down, sort of here, sort of. Let's see. Gotta work on firming that up. But as you can see, everything, if we go around the back, matches up nicely. Really, just sometimes you've got, you, you're, you need to push harder than you want to push. That's my problem all the time. Now, someone had asked me, what do I do about these spots right here? Um, you know, because my Mills plates already have these here where the new connections are gonna be, um, I do keep them. And I'll tell you the reason why I keep them is because they are original to the set. And I want to have the original pieces to the set included. If you don't want this, just go grab a one by two brown here and here, okay, and, and fill it in. But that's why I do it. I like to keep, there we go, easy, easy. I like to keep as much original with the set as I can. Uh, in this instance, I did not choose to keep the 16 by 32 base plates uh, with it, but that's okay. All right, so that's it. That is transferring over a 
modular that's on a standard base plate to a modular on a mills plate. So I hope you found some use in that and uh, wait for us to place this in the city. So make sure to subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and you can be updated when we get ready to put this into our city. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.